hello everyone this is ashish and today i wanted to cover a topic for how to apply a patch patches are something which we come across very often to apply please look at this video from a techno functional consultant perspective and not from a db standpoint i am a techno functional consultant and i maintain my own instance and come across a situation to apply the patch so this is what comes out and the video is going to be somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes instance is a r12 12.1.1 and it's a fresh prod install and details about the database is over here the topic which we will be covering are listed over here so we will check whether the patch is there or not we will bring the application tier down there are some patches which we have to apply on the application tier there are some patches where we have to apply patch on the database tier most of the time we will be applying the patch on the application tier and that happens by bringing the application tier down we enable the maintenance mode with the ad admin utility so this is something which is uh, recently been introduced uh, where you have to bring down the application tier then enable it into a maintenance mode what it does is like it's it improves the performance while applying the patch for the database then we'll apply the patch with the ad patch utility so ad admin and the ad patch are the two utilities which we are going to use these are the unix system utilities which have been provided by oracle then we will enable the disable the maintenance mode again going into the ad admin utility we will bring our application tier up and then we can check whether our patch is applied or not so let's go ahead and look a uh, look out into the instance what patches are there i have already downloaded a patch which is for item cross reference for making it quick i have downloaded a very small patch so this is the instance where i am interested in i'll go ahead and log in and we will check whether the patch is there or not is the system administration and then we'll go into the patching and utilities as a sub menu and over here we come out a window where we can dif give different options like whether the patch is applied into a last couple of days what's the patch number or if we wanted to understand whether the patch is what's the patch been applied within a specified time range or if a patch is uh, what language it got applied into so there are a couple of things so i'll go ahead and look out for any patch which got applied in the last 60 days so there is one patch which i have just applied we'll go ahead and apply another patch so first thing first is we have to come out of the instance we'll close it then we'll go into the application uh, unix box and go into the application manager which uh, manages the application tier and the first thing is we have to run our script to initialize the variables you can have any of the scripts where you make make the where you will be managing your environment variables so i have this bash profile where i have already included my scripts i will show you what what's there in this bash profile and i will run the ad admin And it comes out with a similar kind of a this kind of a menu where it asks some questions pertaining to what instance what database we are looking out what batch site should be all those things would be uh, asked by this utility so we'll go ahead and see what's the da database directory the apple top we'll go ahead go ahead go ahead we go ahead with it's asked for what's the whether this is the correct database then it comes out to a point where it asks password for a system and by default oracle puts manager as a password m a n a g e r if you have made any changes you have to enter it according to that so i go ahead and give m a n a g e r then it asks for the aol apps password which is apps by default this is the menu which comes out for ad admin so we are interested in changing the maintenance mode which is the option 5 i select that one there is a sub menu which comes out which is whether we wanted to enable disable 
and we can give our appropriate choices so right now i wanted to enable my maintenance mode so i'll select one and come out it gives me message that it's selected it's enabled maintenance mode successfully so i'll say continue i wanted to come out of this sub menu I wanted to come out of this ed admin utility i'll say clear the next thing is we check the patch on the instance we down the application tier oh you know what we didn't down the application tier we need to down the application tier i'm sorry so i will down my application tier uh, that's the use of having a agenda item set properly beforehand and important point is you have to stick to that as well you know i have not looked into it and i missed out this step so here we are bringing our application tier down and this patch is something which is got applied into the database so we have to bring down the application tier so my application tier is down and now we'll go ahead and one more time enable my maintenance mode will ask the similar kind of a questions let's go ahead really quickly over here let's say five i wanted to enable one successfully enabled so we are out of this so we just enable maintenance mode now we have to come to the patch i already downloaded a patch for this purpose and this is the patch which is I'm going to apply this has been unzipped into this directory so we'll go into this directory I'll say CD and this one and now I'll run my AD patch AD PATCH The AD patch utility also comes out with a similar kind of a navigation what we have seen in AD admin. So we'll just make sure we have the correct Apple top database batch size. So I'll go ahead just make sure. We'll give the password as manager. It confirms whether this is the directory where we have the patch so this is the directory where we have it if we have a different directory we can give it over here but the way I apply it is I go into that directory and from there I start my AD patch then it asks for what's the driver so driver is something this for each of the patch whatever we comes out the Oracle supplies a driver which really governs how the patch will get applied so this is the driver we wanted to use we go ahead it asks for how many workers would be there it gives you a couple of options whether what's been going on what files is getting applied to which product like over here I can see there are two specifications files on worker 1 and worker 2 for the inventory We don't have to worry about this thing this is all get controlled by the driver file what we have provided and oracle really governs everything in a quite well fashion it copies into a specific directory then it applies into the database whatever it's required it will be get governed everything by driver file we don't have to be much worry about once it's been completed it will comes out with a message says auto patch is complete and if we are interested you can check what the message got generated and if there are any errors and warnings so our patch got applied properly we can check it out on the instance directly but from a db standpoint if somebody is interested they can go ahead and check these files in this instances so we'll go ahead and we already done the step number four where we say apply the patch with ad patch utility 
now we'll go ahead and disable the maintenance mode so before we start the patch we have to enable the maintenance mode once we are done we have to disable the maintenance mode if we don't disable it we wouldn't be able to log in into the instance and the instance will give you warnings the maintenance mode is still enabled so let's run the ad admin utility again let's go go ahead uh, real quickly over here i'm interested in five and i wanted to disable which is option two it is successfully disabled i'm out of the ad admin so i have uh, disabled now i have to bring the application tier up so i'll say start my prod oh i am doing the shutdown i have to do start so this is a script which i have written just to, to bring my application tier up and the way we see there are like couple of scripts which needs to get executed and if in unix they are returning a status message of zero like this one it means the script was completed in a successful manner and there's nothing much we have to be worried about if this status message doesn't comes out zero or something different then there is a log file for each of the process where we can go ahead and check what's been really going on going on with my process why it's been not uh, really getting up so those all things we can check out so now we see all the status are zero we don't have to be much worried so we'll go ahead and check our instance oh so hasn't we logged out of our instance anyhow that's not a problem so let's go ahead and run our application I'll go ahead and enter my user and password details and we have to go to the system administration and patching and utilities and we'll try to pull out what's been applied in the last 60 days so if you remember we have one patch last time when we checked out with the same filter criteria now we have applied another patch which is item cross reference public api and this is the patch which we have applied if you wanted to know more details about it we can go over here and we can check out what's the file copied what's the timing details all those and whatever we wanted to check for our patch but for now this is all i wanted to cover how to apply the patch and i appreciate if you leave a comments that will help me out to improve and you can also let me know what's the topic you wanted to cover i will try to cover them in my next videos i appreciate your time have a nice day